So we have a bunch of new projects coming up uh, in addition to Black Sky, and we brought some art along. This isn't, I, I don't actually think it's trailers, because this is actually just the sequential art, but just to introduce some of the things that we have coming up. Um, Aubrey, if you could click uh, look at Bible pieces. I will try and do my best Tim Seeley impression. Hey, everybody. I don't even know. <laughs> So, Loaded Bible is about a future where there's lots of vampires that take over the world, and then the world needs a savior. There he is, it's Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Loaded Bible, it's Jesus versus vampires. And uh, it's an awesome world that Tim Seeley, who also created the wonderful Hack Slash, um, created over at Image Comics. Has anyone seen or read that book? It's a great book. Uh, there are three issues completed, and so this is going to be, for us, like an interesting amalgamation of all the things that Ben Templeton hates and the things that he might like. Because there's three books going like Jesus. <laughs> uh, it's going to take about six issues at least to make a feature length. Uh, oh, so this is the this is the vampire love interest. Uh-oh, does Jesus fall in love with the Oh, oh, romance. <laughs> She's bringing him his own blood, I guess. <laughs> is this bad in rules? Well, it's not all ages, so. Um, Maybe it's bad Yeah, it's, it's cold. <laughs> but it's not bad. So, um, so, uh, so three issues have been done for Image, and then there are three issues that will be done for the Illustrated Film Assembly. So the first three are we're going to be working with original art that was made for a comic book, and then the last three we're going to be working with the artist to um, craft it more for the illustrated film. So for us, it'll be an experiment to see the best way to, if there's a way that we can make an illustrated film out of an existing comic book, or if that just is motion comic. And I mean, it's a really, it's kind of a nuanced difference, but it's important to us. And I was saying earlier, people might look at an illustrated film and say, well, that's sequential art that's moving around, so that's a motion comic. And my answer to that is that Seinfeld was shot on 35mm film, but that doesn't make it the same thing as Full Metal Jacket. It's still, there's a dramatic, not dramatic like in the metaphorical sense, but like, like a dramaturgical difference in the storytelling style that we're going for in an illustrated film, which is a cinematic story. Is that pretentious enough? I just use it from the very um, Aubrey, can you click the button again? So we have this uh, another project coming up, which is called The Long Knives. And it is a horror film that was uh, a horror illustrated film that was written to be like a really just bare knuckle bloody revenge movie. Um, and just like really badass and tough. But I didn't want it to fall into torture form, so I found this artist who is completely aesthetically different from what you would think of a really hard knuckle horror movie. And the feeling was it's either Tim Burton, if Tim Burton wanted to hack people up and eat them, or it's like a, like a, are you guys familiar with Jalo horror? Like Dario Argento, Suspiria, that kind of stuff, where it's a very stylized horror and um, you know, very lush color palette, and uh, the, the sound design can be operatic in some places, not, not literally people singing, but, um, so I found uh, Anna Lugeska, who is just this uh, artist that I fell in love with her work, and it's just it's so different, and I think it really just creates a duality to the project that makes it uh, very unique, uh, so that's something that we're working on now. Um, I saw Medusa up there, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Uh, yes. Um, well, this is something that is uh, in the early stages, like Black Sky, um, and I wasn't sure if we were going to show the art, but now we just got an art comic show to the show. Um, can you, don't click it yet, though. So, we're experimenting with all the different stuff that we can do, because, you know, a lot of our stuff is just crazy, you know, R-rated, or sometimes occasionally NC-17, um, and just, like, really aggressive and crazy edgy, because I like that stuff. But we're also playing around with what other things we can do, bless you. And, uh, and I had the idea to do a project which is kind of like a, um, a revisionary history of the Medusa character and her origin. Um, and I don't know if people are familiar with it, but there is um, a telling of that story from Ovid that she was uh, just like a, a young Greek girl 
who wound up on the, on the wrong end of Zeus's um, lightning bolt and was raped by him and then was cursed by Hera uh, and turned into a Gorga. So it's actually a really tragic story. It's not like she's just this crazy monster who lives in a cave. Um, so I kind of wanted to look at that story and take kind of like a, like a wicked approach to it, like the, the, the book and the musical about the Wicked Witch, where somebody's telling that story, but do it on sort of like an epic, uh, like dark, tragic romance scale. Uh, and so we have the first part for that. Could you please click the music? Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, you don't get to see it. Sorry. Uh, so this is, as you can see, just a completely different uh, aesthetic from the other stuff that we've done before. Um, and we think it'll be fun and, and rad and unique. So that's what you said, uh, which you'll be hopefully seeing more soon. But this is all we've got, so. <laughs> FJ, um, so can you go a little bit more into your role of, um, here, are you going to be doing your own? Uh, motion comments. So they, uh, Matt said that this has kind of opened up a new area for you. Just well, we, uh, we haven't. I, we haven't talked about doing one of mine yet. But I mean, I think what I'm trying to do is, you know, lend my sort of skill set to, you know, what Matt's trying to do, which is, you know, for example, I introduce that, and then, you know, I go, hey, this is a good fit, and then how do we build a franchise from the ground up, and then figure out what to do with it. Whether it's movies, television, beyond that, games, anything, that's sort of where, you know, my expertise line uh, at the moment. You know, I create stuff, I develop stuff, but I think, you know, the idea right now is to help, you know, in any way I can guide, the, you know, his sort of vision into a larger sort of world and larger space. I don't know if that answers the question. Yeah. Okay. 